Right, so, um, hello everybody, and welcome back to, um, another Cities Skylines episode. This is technically the second episode, so not very far in. I have done about a bajillion live streams on it though, so... definitely not a new series by any means in that regard so um I guess uh, enjoy the episode but first off we're actually just gonna get um that's the road comes around like that gonna have a park maintenance building on it just cause why the hell not I do keep forgetting this is a live stream so somebody watching the live stream will have to remind me no I'm just joking but still I do keep forgetting that this is a, a, not a live stream so, um, that's, that's great. United 757. Looks great. L uh, Singapore Airbus uh, 380. Wonderful. And New Zealand 767. And Qatar Airbus 330. Qatar 777. Clearly assessing the demand of one passenger on board. Today's 777. And two on board the A330. Uh, three on the A New Zealand triple seven. Suppose seven six seven, I guess. And that's very dangerous right there in real life. That would definitely not be allowed. I'd get a huge penalty in Tower Three D Pro if I did that. I don't know why. Just something about United Seven Five Seven right there. It just looked overly pretty. Nice Venera if I say three fifty. Right, so power has been severed. What I'll do instead of that is actually just get the underground power lines. I'll just fit the area better anyway, so I might as well. Right, so um, there's that. So next up, we're actually just going to get a bit of air bit of a housing district actually which I know seems very interesting and I think I guess it is very interesting just a housing area which is not what you'd expect this close to an airport definitely not what I'd expect find right here when you know, I go to an airport. I mean, I'd definitely live here though. I'd be like the one person on the planet that could tolerate living here. So I wouldn't be the one person on the planet. There's several that I know. Sar is another great example. Someone that would tolerate living here, I think. I mean, by I think I mean I'm ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure that he will. But I have to say I think unless he's been bro because he might have been brainwashed overnight and uh, maybe an alien now. So I mean you never know. Right, what's the time stamp on that? It's four minutes thirty eight. It's gonna be a quote of the day, by the way, right there. <laughs> if he's wonder why I worry about timestamps sometimes a lot. It's because it's a quote of the day thing in Discord, because I don't know why I do it, I just do. It was a legend that started that, and I really liked it, so I continued it. 
still do one every single day, except one day. Every single day I do a video, except that one day. When my PC broke before I could do it. It's a couple of days ago. Then so here we go. I mean, I'm just gonna get all this stuff over here. Right then, so there we go, people should be moving in now, this should be a part of the airport, it isn't, which is always a wonderful thing to see, district should be a part of something, but it isn't, so there we go. Right then, so just something like this, I guess. No, we'll have to get this one just like up here. Instead. People might find this as an alternative actually to get out instead of having to go all the way over here. I say Karabi's um, Airbus A350. Uh, Lingus Airbus A330. There's the city airport with a nice air green. Oh no, it's actually a jet blue Airbus A320. In Iberia, but say 340. Right, um, I'm gonna check over here to see if I have like some like traffic AI or whatnot. Don't want to press that. Right, see, I'm um, advanced traffic AI mode, but. I'm gonna search that up right now. Advanced AI should be the key points. Mod. Advanced Tuba. is doing well. Oh god, Applegate Park is not doing well. Has a lot of burnt down buildings. I'm waiting for the police burn down over here. 
here. Gazebo number two, so it's a trampoline park. It's a chess board. This one's a trampoline park. And this one up here was a chess board. Applegate Park, Park Area Info. It's five star park, it costs twenty dollars or twenty units to enter the park. I don't think anybody uses this gate to be honest. But I mean we have it there just in case. For whatever reason you're walking down this way, you wanna cross over here and get over there. Instead of just like just walking down and going over there. Since there's no zone on this side. Coming from here you just use that gate. If we were to say add a crosswalk right here, then Two people might use it. Grand total. Two people might use it. Still better than nothing. I feel like getting another bus tour thingy. It's like a tourist trap kind of thing, this is, to be completely honest. I'm gonna stop there and here. You know what? No, we're just gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. We're gonna come up and then stop here. We're gonna come back round. Just stop like right there, because why the hell not? Just for the banter, you know. Might as well just stop across the ways from the bot botanical garden. Where the hell did we start this thing? Okay, so we started over here at the zoo. Alright, so we're gonna end it at the zoo. Definitely don't need 32 vehicles on this one. 25 is a little, it's pushing it a little bit, but 25 should be fine. If you know what I'm saying. CM and S and and Lufthansa over say 350. This airport does have much higher usage, like, um, the planes are much more full using this airport, uh, like, completely honestly. I mean, Sure, there are people using um, the uh, the airport using flights landing here, but the other ones definitely much more prefer. Here we go, Heckler Aurora's here. It's about 30 people on board, which is very efficient. A lot of pl uh, cars turning left here, which is definitely well, it's not turning left, turning right there, which is very interesting. No, it isn't. See, it's very interesting. I'd never in a million years have expected that. I think that we're actually going to get just a tiny bit of industrial over here, just because. Of everything else, it's definitely the last thing that I'd want to see when driving the city. And also, we'll get oil or industrial at some point in the near future, as well as farming. Just not right now.
You know what, this airport area will just take up this entire field as well, just in case. I mean, we'll try to keep the industrial, especially the garbage producing, or the garbage like um, collecting industrial out here. of the strong vibe here. Water is definitely a bit of an issue. We'll probably end up getting um, industrial quite a ways along over here. Power is another issue. No, it isn't. It isn't anymore. Right, so there's that bus now, comes in a few people and then leaves with a lot. Is this bus doing not exactly the same thing, a little bit similar. Here is some nasty industrial polluting this area, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out, probably a no, but still, I don't know. I feel like we just need some European industrial or something, because European industrial looks sick in this game. I'm going to be completely honest, it looks amazing in this game. I'm going to have this connection as well, because why the hell not? It just has quicker access or something, I don't know. You can even get to like this area quicker, because all we have to do now is just drive down that way and go up. If you're in this industrial and you need to export something, just drive out that way, drive up. We don't actually import goods anymore, do we export them? We export a, ver a very small amount of goods, it's mostly forestry, which is very unsurprising. So we export some goods over here in Uptown. We export some goods over here, oh my god, we export some goods over here. We export some goods over here. Import a lot of oil, a lot of ore, and a lot of farming. We are going to get on top of that. We will. Just not right now. We import more than we export, but not much more. Since these guys will probably, hopefully, be mostly exporting. It's a good spot to have industrial. Because we might actually even get like cargo terminals over here or something. Like this area or that area would have been good for cargo. Two I fly right there. What do I have in terms of cargo? Yeah, not much for airplane cargo, that's for sure. So that's that. 
No, we don't want a rusty warehouse. We want a large warehouse. Yeah, we'll just get a Costco here. The Bunnings is looking the best thing that we've got. Alright, let's put into the Steam Workshop. Let's get rid of the mods tag. Um, warehouse? It's been 20 minutes now. Um, no, none of these actually look that good. I mean, the freight warehouse. How does this thing look, actually? If you don't look from over there, how does it look from over here? Lowest price. I mean, it does get the job done looking from the outside. So yeah, we're, get, we're gonna get the um, I do apologise for the noise if you are slightly infuriated by that. Mm, on the fences now. Where is the fence I'm looking for? That's the prison fence. It's a chain link fence. I have a feeling that I passed it. Oh, yep, there it is. Good old industrial fence. Get a bit of a slope over there. Um, not the slope that you might be thinking of. Obviously, we're going to drop this to um, below to this bottom tier so yes there we go now we're gonna get cargo put in here see I mean this is very important so we're gonna get a Turkish cargo This is actually bloody massive. Turkish Airboss A330, Korean Air Cargo Triple Seven, a Lufthansa Cargo Triple Seven. Lufthansa Cargo Seven Four Seven. And the way this cargo ramp works is um you'll actually have aircraft holding for cargo ramps over here on this taxi. Actually no, you won't have them holding. We'll just be stationed here on the um taxiways. They might unload and offload even on the taxiways. Sometimes we might even have two seven four sevens just arse on arse right here on this taxiway. Which must be very, very awkward. Especially once it's time for these guys over here 
to push back. <sighs> no. I mean, it's not the type of guy. Damn it. Um. We did definitely see lying around here are a bunch of pallets. Definitely a lot of pallets with boxes. And maybe some oil barrels here and there. Turkish Airlines might see a couple of oil barrels going on board the Airbus A330. I mean, this is um, actually the Turkish Airlines loading zone. Now it's a Korean air loading zone. Just a couple of empty pallets over there. Uh, forklifts. I mean, you'd almost definitely have a forklift of some kind over here, but. I mean. Tug. Um, what was it, um, luggage, yes, I mean, this is good enough, a luggage car, sure, I mean, it won't necessarily be over here, but, even onto these cargo flights, there are, there are always a little bit of luggage going onto these, I guess, not just luggage, but like, cargo is getting lugged around in one of these things. Got several sitting off to the side. What's the thing that puts this stuff on? No conveyor. Um. Sliding thingy. No, um, props. I I think you know what I'm talking about, but it just doesn't have a universally accepted name. I don't think. Well, I've got a lot of plane props in here. Let's be honest, right now. All Nippon billboard, an Audi billboard, it's a B2, or baggage truck, which is always great. Looks kind of like almost be a hanger for these guys as well. Not a hanger, but like um, where they are, just stored a bison. God damn it, UPS. Mate, you screwed me over with UPS. A UPS and FedEx and airlines like that, cargo airlines like that. I have their cargo operations elsewhere. Ah, oh, and DHL. Mate, this is nothing. No, I don't think I have it what I'm looking for actually. So we'll just use the forklift. I know I've had it before at least. I'll do it one more time. I'll look for cargo. Actually a cart. My god, a Cessna Grand Caravan. God damn it, there's a lot of props. We don't want a digger, we don't want any of these.
these ones are once again getting close what if we just actually put in cars no okay um No mate, I want to destroy this bit of fence here. We're going to get a similar thing going on here, where we just, this time we're actually going to get this, and then we're actually going to get, um, Oh right, yeah, I'm an idiot, I forgot. Warehouse. Because we're looking in props. To be looking in all. Right, this is the one that we would Oh come on. Actually putting four of these things together. Looks almost perfect. For a while, it doesn't say Costco anywhere on there or anything. Right, so that'll be the only criteria for taxiway. So now we can get creative. Let's say that all the foreign airlines. Or let's say that um, all of the three main cargo carriers will be over here and then the rest will be on the other side you airlines like uh, your Turkishes, your Lufthansa's, your Korean Airs anything affiliated with that will be on the other side and this will just be a clean, sh clean slate for your FedExes we have the 757 which is interesting but our FedExes will usually um, occupy anything very close to the um, right off to the uh, warehouse this is a small focus city for FedEx and it's 757 operations just uh, three of them well four of them sorry here right now DHL has a huge fleet of 757s um, operating out of here I guess as well we've got uh, the Jeremy Clarkson one Got just a regular 757. Just got a DHL 757 as well with winglets of all things. Just um, sitting on the taxiway because we literally park planes on the taxiway here. That's how crowded it can get. The Grand Caravans just don't have any parking order, they just park wherever the hell there's space. So there's a lot of DHL. Grand Caravans here. And then DHL has have summoned a 737 from somewhere. And I have a couple of those parked out here. Once again, the Grand Caravans just. I mean, this guy. No, 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 no. Right, so this Grand Caravan. I mean. Caravan, what was the other company? Oh, it was FedEx, I see. I mean, these ones will be much closer to. 
I mean, I don't know where the hell FedEx will want to park their Grand Caravans, actually. I think the FedEx really enjoys this open space right here. Because they can put a ton of their Grand Caravans in it. And not get at all punished by the um, Airlines Committee for sticking a bunch of Grand Caravans in the FedEx. Alright. That gives us a triple seven, a massive air, a massive aircraft. Um, <laughs> FedEx's triple seven fleet um, based out of this airport. No, god damn it! Let's go. FedEx's triple seven fleet based out of um, this airport will all be parked over here. <clears throat> it is grass currently, it might be grass in a few minutes. And a couple more of it, 757s. Seven Got one more that'll be parked over here. We've got this 757 fleet over here, so we've got a couple of them out here. We haven't even gone to UPS yet. The UPS is 747 fleet out of this airport. will operate out of this end. And it's a decently sized 747 fleet. have that guy right there. And they'll have um UPS are very efficient. They they actually have the seven five sevens parked in between two seven four sevens. And since the uh the seven four sevens push back onto that taxiway, they really can cram a lot of seven five sevens in here. And there's a UPS 757 over there. The UPS 767 fleet, on the other hand, is the main predominant fleet at this airport. And it is just scattered all about the airport. It is literally everywhere. It is very important for this economy to keep running. The UPS and their 767s. And then they have the occasional 757 parked in their 767s to make their 767 fleet look even stronger when it is actually is just a 757. And they actually um, sometimes lease FedEx ramps for their 75s. You should have that 3 sticking out there. Don't worry, this one's not parked, it's taxiing. got this blank space over here. I mean, then it'll just be a plain Fiesta right here. Come on. Just do prop. We'll do something right now. We'll make there be like a jet blue base of operations out here. Jet. I mean that gives quite a few of them. I mean jet blue will have a massive base parked out here. We can like pretend that this terminal out here is an old jet blue terminal. that they have a massive um, focus city here with a lot of Airbus A320s E195 and whatnot. And 
just the occasional Embraer mixed in with the um, Airbuses. Of course, there's a couple of libraries that they use. Here's the finest of New York library. The thing about the JetBlue Airbus A320 fleet, well, this, this fleet over here is these inner aircrafts are the last aircraft to leave, but they are the first aircraft to arrive as well at night. Because I mean, they they have to um, be able to park up there, and then the the Airbus A321. They have over here because this city is based in Hawaii. Just parked in like that. The E195 is mostly st stickered in here in the very back corner. There's almost always an E195 on the other side of the hill. What's another airline with a base over here? <laughs> Hawaiian Airlines, Airbus A321, yeah. So yes, Hawaiian Airlines will have a mini base here. Mostly using up their Airbus A320 Neo aircraft. There's quite a few of those guys right there. They won't be associated with the cargo aircraft. But I mean... I mean the story here is, um, this is a major cargo airport for Hawaii, so yeah, most of the main cargo air airlines fly here and then um, Obviously it's also a major hub for JetBlue, which operates a lot out of um, the airport. Got all of this, this is all JetBlue operations. I mean, I mean the thing that you'd have in real life though is like um, terminals for all of your uh, airlines that are focus cities here, so yeah. We'll just pretend like this terminal over here is a, a Hawaiian and JetBlue oriented terminal. And to make it more realistic, we're actually just going to close off the terminal to actual flights. And just have Hawaiian and JetBlue flights out of here at this terminal. Have a Hawaiian seven six seven. And we'll have the seven six seven taxiing out. And that way we'll have an Airbus A three thirty taxiing right here way left of the center line to try and avoid that FedEx aircraft. I mean at well this time of day most of the A three thirty and seven six seven fleets actually flying off somewhere and it's the Airbus A three thirty. The thing about the um, Airbus A three twenty one fleet is that they're mostly boarding stairs aircraft. A three twenty ones will have to board via stairs. Well, the uh, 767s and A330s get these nice gates. Jet blue isn't the same at all. Almost all of those jet blue aircraft parked over there are parked literally for overnighting or whatnot. So we might have remote stands here, 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 here. A321, another A321, possibly an Embraer. And, um,. There's going to be more right stands as they go along. As for JetBlue, it's mostly the A321 fleet that gets the um, 
gate privileges uh, at this airport. Under um, E195s actually get uh, pretty nice privileges here. <laughs> I mean, some people say it's insane the backlog of JetBlue A320s. And E195s that you might see taxiing out here. But some just consider it healthy. It's usually actually E195s that say at this time of day. I mean, this guy's just holding. That's actually an A321, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just holding short for um, DHL. Once you get very close to the runway, then you're going to start seeing the embrayers all nicely queued up for takeoff. You see this Hawaiian A321, which is just queuing up for takeoff, it's just taxiing over there basically at this point in time. I mean, this guy's just at a crossroads here. Obviously, he comes in from this way because this is the Hawaiian area for the Airbus A321s. I mean, this has been a much longer episode than anticipated, to be fair. It's been 47 minutes at this point. And um, I was trying to make it 25 minute long episode, so that tells you how sidetracked I got today. But, um, I just detailed the airport, got um, basically just more aircraft in. There's an Air France 777 with easy clearance for everybody. Good clearance and whatnot. I'm just going to turn this passenger terminal off. Not like anybody was using it anyway. But just pretend like um, anybody flying Hawaiian or JetBlue will have to come down this way. Anybody going to this area will actually cannot go over here. And yes, in fact, I did notice that I didn't connect the fences properly. I mean, the buses stop here in case you need to visit them. Just have some other on uncontrollable urge to have to stop here. The buses do. They won't be very long, obviously, um, if you are connecting. From, say, an American Airlines flight to a Hawaiian Airlines flight, uh, I need to get the Hawaiian 717. need to put an emphasis on the Hawaiian Airlines operations at this airport. Because this airport is in Hawaii. I'll do that right now. We'll get this thing. There we go. So the Hawaiian seven one seven is now in our Arsenal. Right, you didn't just see that, did you? I'm just going to stop recording, just because um, my game froze and it may have crashed. I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Dan's out. Goodbye.